we are here today uh, at the launch of a very important uh, book, The Puppy Factory, which is an example of what's going on in Europe when we look at illegal trade of uh, puppies and kittens and many more animals. And this is why Euro for Animals, my organization, uh, bringing together 48 leading animal welfare organizations in Europe, has launched an important campaign called Protect Our Pets. And uh, what we aim with this campaign is to see a harmonization um, of identification and registration standards and requirements. We believe that every kept dog or cat uh, should be microchipped and should be registered and that all the national databases should be harmonized so that it's possible to trace animals uh, back and that it's possible to close this loophole in our legislative legislation in the non-commercial uh, pet travel scheme um, to make sure that that is not being abused anymore, that the possibilities of evading uh, the rules uh, uh, are, being, are being tackled. So we call on every European citizen uh, who is uh, supportive of our cause uh, to sign up to this petition and to send an email to members of the European Parliament stating that we need this harmonization of mandatory uh, identification and registration standards. Because we are not only uh, facing a problems for the animals, uh, what we have seen today is really uh, awful. It's 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 such um, um, a big, a booming, flourishing uh, business with no respect for animals at all. It's only about money. But apart from that, um, we are also facing uh, a lot of uh, problems for consumers who are being deceived. We are facing public health problems. Uh, the, the one single market is at stake. So many reasons why we believe that the European Commission has a dedicated role uh, to play. And that's also why we hope that our Protect Our Pets campaign with the support of a lot of uh, European citizens and Italian uh, citizens will be successful.